video is an overview of the Artists and Community Education Program at Queen's University. This program is for applicants who already have a university degree. The Artists and Community Education, which we usually refer to as ACE, program track is designed for practicing artists in visual art, music, drama, dance, film, and creative writing. In the program, the emphasis is on learning from one another and exploring the positive role that artists and the arts play in our schools, communities, and society. The ACE class is a small and select group, and students work intensely with one another, forging personal and professional relationships that follow them throughout their futures. The ACE program is full of special activities, field trips, workshops, and events that help to build community and develop a deeper understanding of the arts. Every ACE cohort takes field trips to different arts institutions. In the past, these have included the National Art Gallery, the National Arts Center, the Isabel Bader, the Tet Center, and more. Workshops are an important part of the ACE experience. Recently, we've had drumming workshops, a puppet making workshop, and even a skateboard making workshop. Every year, the ACE class puts on an exhibition in the art gallery we have at the Faculty of Education. The faculty has an arts infusion committee, which seeks to enhance the presence of arts, increase awareness and understanding of the arts, make the arts accessible for everyone, and create opportunities for arts infused learning. The committee puts on events and workshops year round, making sure that the arts are a vital part of the faculty of education community. Now that you know a little bit about our artists and community education program, you may be wondering why Queens? Queen's University is one of the highest ranked post-secondary institutions in Canada when it comes to student experience. We take an inclusive approach to education and offer learning experiences beyond the classroom. Why should you come to the Faculty of Education? Our program begins in May and finishes in August the following year. This means that our graduates are out into the working world a year earlier than most other universities. The job market is excellent for classroom teachers right now, and we want to get you into a classroom as soon as possible. Many of our courses are taught by our faculty members, meaning you are learning from the people who are shaping the research in your chosen area. We have a full team of support staff here for you. Not only do we have embedded counselors, but we also have a full team of academic and career advisors that will assist you with your job search, interviewing, and your resume. Queen's is one of the only universities across Canada that has specific education career services. This allows us to be specialized in securing teaching and education related careers for you. When you apply to our program, you apply to teach either primary junior, which is junior kindergarten to grade six, or intermediate senior, which is grade seven to 12. These are the recommendations for applicants applying to our consecutive education program. In addition to having a four-year honors undergraduate degree and a minimum B average, we strongly encourage all applicants to have a half-year course in developmental psychology or a full-year course in introductory psychology. For primary junior, we look for applicants that are well-rounded. We recommend having at least one course in English, math, science, the arts, geography, or Canadian history, and health or physical education. These are key areas of the Ontario curriculum. If you are applying to the intermediate senior program, you will need to choose two teaching subjects when you apply. For artists and community education students, one might be drama, English, music, or visual arts. For your first teaching subject, you need five full year courses, and for your second, you need three full year courses. There are some exceptions, so make sure you check the website for each teaching subject. Some things to keep in mind, for example, if you are interested in having chemistry as one of your teaching subjects, you need to have at least one organic chemistry course. If you are interested in history, we encourage applicants to have a Canadian history course. Our program is condensed, meaning that instead of using the standard school year structure with summers off, our students start in May and continue straight through to the following August. It is important to keep in mind that while this gets you on the job market quickly, there isn't time for breaks in the program. Our program consists of blocks, as you can see from the schedule. There are class blocks and practicum blocks. The structure of our program allows students to learn from our faculty in Kingston and apply that learning throughout that, the year in their practicums. 
You will complete 18 weeks of practicum in a publicly funded Ontario classroom. Our catchment area includes 26 district school boards spanning from Burlington to Cornwall. We follow the associate school model where we aim to have our teacher candidates complete all regular practicum components in the same associate school. When you are admitted to the program, you will identify four district school boards within the designated catchment area with the potential to be placed within any of those four boards. We do our best to place candidates within a one hour commute of their home address, but this isn't always possible. Due to the high demand for the local Kingston school boards and the limited spaces available in these boards, you should be prepared to be placed in any of your four school board choices. This means that while you will be in Kingston for your class blocks, you could be elsewhere in the province for your practicum placements. You will be assigned a Queen's faculty liaison to support you during practicum and who will visit you in your classroom twice during the program, once in the fall and once in the winter. Practicum placements are arranged by the practicum office at Queen's. Unfortunately, you are not permitted to arrange your own. Here is a list of the public school boards we use. And here is a list of the Catholic school boards. The alternative practicum is typically completed outside the school system and takes place in the winter term in March. For A students, the alternative practicum takes place in a non-traditional educational, artistic, or blended arts educational setting anywhere in the world. There are travel fellowships available to help you get there. We've had students go to Scotland to bagpipe, to Italy to be in a historic recreation festival, and we've had students work at major arts institutions across Europe and Canada. The possibilities are endless. To apply, you apply for our program on the UAC Tees website. This is the same website you would have used if you applied for universities in Ontario for your last degree. We have a specific portal for teaching applications called Tees, which you can find under the professional programs heading. Applications usually open in September and remain open until December 1st. After you finish your application, you will receive an email link with information about the personal statement of experience, including how to submit it. The personal statement of experience is due by December 10th. Also due on December 10th is specific supplemental documents that are specific to the ACE program, an application cover sheet, an arts resume, a short letter of introduction, and an artistic portfolio. Of, you'll see the key dates and deadlines for the application process. Queen sends out the first round of offers for admission in mid-February with a deadline to accept by March 1st. Please note that because our program begins on May 1st, all of our deadlines are firm. We can't wait to welcome you to the Faculty of Education at Queen's University. Please contact us with any questions you may have.